सो बेसिकली देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कपैसिटर पोलराइज कपैसिटर एंड नॉन पोलराइज कपैसिटर एज नेम सजेस्टेड पोलराइज कपैसिटर हैज अ पोलैरिटी एंड नॉन पोलराइज कपैसिटर विच हैज नो पोलैरिटी सो मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ पोलराइज कपैसिटर इज इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक कपैसिटर एंड द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ नॉन पोलराइज कपैसिटर इज सिरेमिक कपैसिटर सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक कपैसिटर एंड सिरेमिक कपैसिटर सो फर्स्ट पैरामीटर इज पोलैरिटी As we already discussed, electrolytic capacitor has polarities, and we can distinguish the cathode and anode with their terminal. The small one is cathode, while other one is anode, which is bigger than cathode. And if the both terminal length is same, then there is a downside column of arrows indicating the cathode. The symbol of electrolytic capacitor is shown below. Ceramic capacitor has no polarities, so we can make any terminal as cathode or anode, and the symbol for ceramic capacitor is also shown. Let's walk towards the next parameter which is capacitance. So electrolytic capacitance approximately ranges from 0.1 microfarad to 2.7 millifarad and the voltage and capacitance value is written on the capacitor. Ceramic capacitors are approximately ranges from 0.1 picofarad to 100 microfarad. The code were written on it so in which the first two digits are multiplied to the multiplier and obtained value is in picofarad. then we go to some more parameters in which first one is series equivalent resistance so what is series equivalent resistance as we all know every capacitor is not ideal it has some resistance which is in series with capacitor that resistance is called as series equivalent resistance so electrolytic capacitor has high esr value than ceramic capacitor our next point is temperature stability as temperature changes the capacitor value of a capacitor is also changes that term is called as a temperature stability so electrolytic capacitor has low temperature stability while ceramic capacitor has good temperature stability than electrolytic capacitor the tolerance of electrolytic capacitor is high while ceramic capacitor is low the life span of electrolytic capacitor is short while ceramic capacitor is having long life span So let's talk about applications. Electrolytic capacitor is useful in rectifier circuit because it deals with DC current and used as filter in rectifier circuit. They are also good in audio frequency amplifiers. While ceramic capacitor is good for bypassing high frequency noise in power lines and also prefer in high frequency applications. So guys, this is all about the difference between the polarized capacitor and non-polarized capacitor. If you like the video then hit the like button and do subscribe our channel for more exciting videos.